Hello everyone and welcome back to, um, from what has probably been a very atypical spring break. Um, I am still hoping that you all have had an opportunity to at least still get some rest and hopefully um, relax a little bit and also enjoy yourselves and enjoy your families as well. Um, I also am hoping that you um, still are managing as best as possible as we still um, get news, different news updates um, day to day it seems as well and that you are continuing to just find ways to manage as best as possible each and every day. One of the things that I am continuing to notice is that there are a lot of different feelings and a lot of different emotions um, that are occurring in our communities, in our families, and just in um, our nation worldwide. Um, and so that's what I would like to address um, in this um, Wellness Wednesday segment. And so um, I just want to acknowledge that um, there are a lot of different emotions right now, and I want to acknowledge just the um, overwhelming feeling of anxiety and stress and just overwhelm that a lot of us are experiencing right now and hopefully provide some tips um, that might be beneficial um, to a lot of people. And so the first tip that I would like to share is just breathe. Um, when you feel yourself being um, just overwhelmed and becoming anxious, becoming irritated, becoming stressed, just stop everything that you are doing and just breathe. So literally, um, just take a deep breath. And so um, when you can and if you can at that moment, just stop and just inhale and then literally blow it all out. And then if you can, when you inhale, um, breathe from your diaphragm. And so just breathe in so that your stomach comes out. And then if you can, um, breathe in for six seconds and then hold it and then exhale for six seconds. And then um, just think to yourself, just breathe in peace and calm and then breathe out stress and worry. And then if you can, just repeat that for at least three times and then just do that um, if you can three times before moving on to your next task. Um, that will help to ground you, it will help to focus you, it will help to calm you, and then it will help to recenter you, at least for that moment. And just do that and then move on to your next task. And then my next tip for you, um, while I think that it's important right now for us for us to stay as updated as we possibly can. And so what we do is we tend to watch the news, we tend to um, make sure that we are um, staying in tune with our social media outlets. But one of the things and one of the challenges was challenges with that is that we are also bombarded with the coronavirus and coronavirus related information. So please try and make sure that you are limiting your updates as well. Um, while it's important to stay updated, it's it's not necessary for us to be updated hourly or updated um, like every half hour. So um, that can be anxiety provoking. And so that's not what we want to do when we're updated with, with information. So if you can, just make sure that you're updated at least two or three times a day. So what that might mean is that you get an update in the morning, you get an update midday or evening, and then you get an update at night. And um, that will make sure that you are just staying updated. And then another thing that I recommend is that you're getting your updates from reputable sources. Um, and so that's um, getting your updates from the CDC or from the World um, Health Organization. And so just make sure that you are limiting your um, updates and then make sure you're getting your sources from reputable sources. 
the third tip that I have um, to help you um, minimize your anxiety and make sure that you're minimizing um, your stress as well is to focus on what you can control. So many things right now are beyond our control and anxiety thrives on uncertainty and doubt. And so make sure that you are focusing on what you can control. And so some of the things that we can control, we can control um, for the most part our schedules. We can control our to-do lists. We can control what we do with our families. We can control what we are um, eating in terms of um, our nutritional intake. And try and make sure that you're eating healthy things um, because that helps in terms of our immune system and how we feel and, um, you know, um, having energy. Um, we can control um, how we communicate with our friends. Um, we can control who we stay socially connected with. These are the things that we can control. And again, we want to focus on what we can control because that helps to minimize our anxiety and minimize our stress levels. The next tip that I have is do a guided meditation or a self-calming activity. Um, um, mindfulness meditation definitely helps to minimize our anxiety and to minimize our um, stress levels. Um, sometimes we may say, well, mm, no, I'm not really into that. Um, and I used to be one of those, I'm not into that people until... And, and um, I was one of those, I'm not into that types of persons until I became one of those persons. <laughs> and so um, if you're having difficulties with anxiety or struggling with like sleeping or sleep patterns or having a difficult time um, with like shutting off at night um, or just feeling like overwhelmed, I highly recommend it. Um, you can look up many different um, mindfulness meditation apps um, um, on um, like your phone they have I highly recommend um, like the calm app or um, the headspace app and then there's also a lot of different things on YouTube as well there's things on YouTube for um, adults there's things on YouTube for kids as well um, but um, I do mindfulness as a regular practice um, I also do mindfulness um, in terms of in trainings with um, staff as well for, for professional development. Um, there are a lot of different things for mindfulness, but there all, are also some um, self-calming activities that you can do as well. So I recommend that you do um, different art activities, and there's all different types of art activities that you can do. Um, there's coloring, there's coloring for kids, there's coloring for adults. Um, you can um, do different drawing, um, there's journaling, creative writing, um, there's reading you can do, um, all types of dif different exercises that you can do as well, from walking to hiking to biking to jogging and running, um, yoga, um, music of all types from playing to listening to writing, um, dancing, singing, anything that is calming for you um, can help to minimize anxiety and decrease stress as well. Um, for a fifth tip that I have for you, um, staying connected um, with other people. Anxiety breeds in isolation. So staying socially connected, especially at this time, is um, so very important. And that is especially important for um, our young people as well. Um, but social connection and peer relationships are huge and hugely important for young people. So please ensure that um, for parents that our um, students your children are staying socially connected. Um, so whether or not um, for our young, young ones, if they're having playdates, that's huge. Um, if they are staying socially connected with um, their neighbors, if you can have like um, neighbor playdates, even if they just go like right outside um, and you let them communicate from across the street and maybe they um, like kick a ball back and forth, those types of things. 
but even if they have virtual play dates, they can do that. Um, for older teens, um, I know there's a lot of different TikTok things happening, house party things happening, um, but there's a lot of ways for them to stay socially connected. Some have virtual dates, um, game nights, a lot of different things for young people to do, but please ensure that young people are staying socially connected. Um, movie nights, um, I know um, some, um, some for some of the adults having happy hours, um, a lot of different ways to stay socially connected right now, but please stay socially engaged and socially supported. That is so huge um, and beneficial um, to minimize anxiety and uh, minimize stress levels right now. Um, my sixth tip for you um, is to definitely, definitely, definitely in this time, be kind to yourself. Give yourself grace. This is a time that um, right now we keep hearing the word um, that this is a time that is um, unprecedented. And right now that is so very true because we have not been in a time like this and it is unparalleled and unmatched like any other time. And that is so very true for what we are feeling as well. So please give yourself grace. Please give yourself patience. Please give yourself flexibility to not know everything, to not understand everything. Um, please, please, please be patient with yourself because we are in this time where we don't know how to manage everything. We do not know um, all the right things to do, all the right things to say. And that goes for everyone in your family and everyone in your household. So please give yourself grace and please give yourself patience. My last thing that I do want to address is that if the anxiety, if the stress, if the sleepless nights, if the grief, if the trauma, if the overwhelm becomes too much, and if the strategies alone are not working, please reach out for professional help and support. You do not have to manage all of this on your own or alone. There are many therapists and many psychologists that are available and that are offering telehealth supports right now. And so please reach out to them. And if you need additional supports in that area, please reach out to me. I can be an assistance in that area as well. Um, I do want to acknowledge also that the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline um, and the Crisis Text line are available as resources as well um, during this time and not only for immediate danger they are available to provide support um, just for mental health support and counseling support services right now as well and I can be available to provide you those numbers um, as assistance. So just reach out to me. You can reach out to me via email. You can reach out to me via Zoom request and I can provide you those um, supports. And I will also provide um, the contact um, numbers on the health and wellness blog as well. So um, please remember to ask for support and assistance because asking for support is not a sign of weakness. Um, taking care of yourself is a sign of strength. So remember, I am always here and I am always available for support. I wish you all positive health and emotional wellness. Please take care of yourselves.